In this video, we're going to see how we can take and include a gray in our color separations, then merge colors into our gray, and then change that gray to a tone with our black, and reduce our color count down to just a couple of colors for simulated process printing, but yet be very accurate to our original based on our preview and our color separations. So to get started, I'm going to toggle a gray on here and turn that on. I'm going to go to the green. There's nothing there. I can see that. I'll delete that. I'll go to the magenta. There's very little there. I'm going to merge that to the blue. Take a look at the cyan. There's very little there. I'm going to merge that to the blue. Now I'll take a look at my original. You can see we've reduced some colors here. But I'm going to go to this blue and I'm going to merge that to the gray. I'm going to change that to a blue midtone. Now you can see it just went to red, so I'll come over here to gray, change that to a blue midtone over here towards the grays. Take a look at my original. Okay, now here I'm more into the blue in my preview, and over here in my original, I'm over more towards the azures. I'll go back to that custom color that I made from the gray, and bring that back into the azure a little bit. And I'll go to my preview with my original. Take a look at that, and I can see I'm very close there. You can see how close that is. Very small difference. Just a little bit too blue over here. So I'll go back to that custom color I made with the gray and I'll slide that back just a tiny bit more. Go to my original and I'm really close now. Go back here, bring in a little bit more blue, maybe like right there. And I'll say that that's close enough. Then I'll go to my yellow. You can see we've got some of that and we also have some red. But I'll take that yellow and I'll merge that into the red. I'm going to change that to an orange. And I'm going to bring that a little bit up into the yellow to get like a golden color or a golden orange. Look at my preview. Here's my preview. Here's my original. You can see I'm very close. Now if I want to make this yellow that's in the beak a little bit more, well actually the golden yellow, a little richer. I can come here to my saturation and bring that up just a little bit. Not too much. Take a look at the original. And there I have it very, very close. And all I have is the golden yellow, the bluish or azure tone, and black. And if I'm going to be in a black garment, of course, I'll need the white. So I'd be down to four colors. I've got the matching formulas for matching my colors. And as I've mentioned, you'd start out with your white and your black or you could actually just take a gray and add some white to it and then bring in a little bit of blue and a touch of cyan I mean just a touch to match this color and you could print that on a four color press so that's how you can go through your colors merge them and then merge colors into your gray to create a custom color that's now a blue tone off to the gray side or into the grays to reduce your color counts for accurate simulated process screen printing but yet with just a few colors, a few screens. Now here I would interlock the black half tones and these two I would not interlock because they're not blending. But the black I would interlock so it does not step on these two colors with the half tones. We'll go ahead and wrap here and we'll see you in our next video.